I want us to debunk this notion that it is about economic models. We have been <laughs> killing page after page in our media, uh, several hours on our TV screens and so forth, because we are beginning to argue about models and models and models, making it look like it is a simple academic exercise. The challenges facing Kenya is not about models. Let us diagonize what is there. If we have a diagnosed health as an issue or some challenges in health, let us be surgical. Find out what those are and then think through the process of getting out of those challenges properly. If we are talking about debt, and as an example, I kept on talking about debt much earlier to the extent that people maybe started saying, is this Mr. Debt? whenever I appeared. Uh, it looked as if it was just a simplistic thing. But now we acknowledge it is, because 70% of the revenue collected is going to pay debt. So what is left for development? Now, if 70% is going to debt, then slowly, we enter into a debt trap because the 30% that we have cannot meet our other needs, meet our other expenditures, pay salaries and so forth. So again, you go out to seek more debt. Now, public debt will then translate into excessive household debt because there is household debt. How does household debt grow? Household debt will grow because you are being taxed more by the government of the day to settle external debt. So Ile Pesa Mfukoni, which you are supposed to have, is diminishing. And your household debt is growing. Your poverty levels are growing. So these are the issues that we need to arrest. And we can only arrest them from a holistic approach. We must rationalize public expenditure. We can't do everything at the same time, at a go. We will have to make very tough decisions going forward. Some austerity measures will have to come into place. These are the issues that must come out.